the start of a beauty maintenance vlog. If you are new to my channel, girl, my name is India. Hey, girl, hey. Okay, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below, girl. Let us know that you're new and you're you're here to join the fam. Okay, give the video a thumbs up. Turn your post notifications on. Okay, so like I said, guys, it's Wednesday, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with my hair. So let me give y'all a little rundown. Okay, firstly, I am going to dinner on Friday. Nothing crazy, literally just a little family dinner, but I know that I was gonna probably put on like a cute outfit, definitely do my makeup. And then I started thinking, oh, I gotta do my nails tomorrow because these are so cute, love these, right? My cute little shorties, but I actually have a little brand deal, so I gotta do my nails um, tomorrow so I can send that content. And then I was already gonna be taking my twist out today. So when I was thinking about it, I was like, okay, wait, makeup, outfit, nails, hair. Let's go ahead and do um, a beauty maintenance vlog. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I have been wearing these twists for about six weeks at this point. These are Island Twist so pretty so please actually like come on let me just can y'all see i mean stunning if you are not new to my channel girl you've been seeing me wearing these in all my vlogs and all my videos for the last six weeks <laughs> the tutorial um for this hairstyle is on my hair channel india ajay i'll put it across the screen it's linked in the description box down below okay girl all the hair tutorials you'll ever need <laughs> um are over there if you guys um, are looking for that so yeah actually I'm gonna go ahead and take these out. I'm like so, I'm a little sad. <laughs> I'm a little sad, but also I'm really happy to move on because we're gonna be doing a new, a new hairstyle, okay? We're gonna be doing a hairstyle that I have never done before. Um, it's gonna be a um, half up, half down crochet braid style. Um, I've done a half up, half down style before, but I haven't done one exactly like this so i need to go ahead and i'm also going to be filming a tiktok as well so i need to go ahead and set up my um wipe this off because giving very much smudged and then we're going to go ahead and get started i think i'm going to do this little hair part um in like like a little montage but do a voiceover with it just because you know i i'm not going to be moving this around putting y'all in the bathtub <laughs> I wash my hair and all that kind of stuff so I think I'm just gonna get some some clips and um and then I'll just do a little voiceover talking about what I'm doing and then you know we'll move to the next thing whatever um whatever that is so yeah let's go ahead and get into it okay guys so we are starting off by cutting out these twists that I have been wearing for about the last two months um when I take out my twists I basically just I mean of course you do the regular like one by one girl you got to take them out but after I do that I do like to go ahead and condition my hair before I actually shampoo so I like to take my hair in just a few sections spray water and then go ahead and apply conditioner right at the roots and then of course all the way down the hair as well just to make sure that I loosen up all that jam that I used when I installed them this is really going to make sure that it's easier to shampoo and my hair doesn't get you know like all tangled up together so this does take a little bit of extra time but I highly highly recommend that you guys do it this way if you wear any type of like you know braid twist or any type of protective style where you use a lot of product of course right here I'm washing my hair with shampoo and now I'm going to go ahead and detangle and deep condition as well so today I'm using the design essentials deep conditioner it's definitely one of my faves I do like to finger detangle I use a wide tooth comb and then I let my deep conditioner sit for at least an hour sometimes I let it sit for like two or two and a half just depending on you know how long I've had that previous protective style in so now that I'm done that I'm going to go ahead and section my hair usually I do four sections when I get ready to blow dry and I am using the color wow heat protectant you can pick up this heat protectant from Sephora I'm not sure if Ulta has it but maybe I'll try to link some of the products I use in today's video in the description box down below for you guys in case y'all want to get any of them but I definitely really like the color wow heat protectant it's supposed to be really good for frizz so that's really the main reason why I use it because my hair gets very frizzy very quickly um, so I try to use that you know just to help it a little bit especially since I'm going to be leaving the top portion of my hair out so now we're going to go ahead and do this claw clip hairstyle this is going to be a half up half down claw clip crochet braid type of hairstyle so as you guys can see, I've already braided up the back. Now you can actually do this as a braidless style if you just wanna, you know, like part your hair from ear to ear and then take this back section and just like put it in a ponytail. You can definitely do that. It's just that my hair is very thick and I really just prefer to, you know, like have a nice base. So I went ahead and installed all the crochet braid hair on the back and now I'm just using some jam to go ahead and mold my hair for the top 
portion. So you can use anything you want, girl. You can use jam. You can use, um, I don't know, like got to be. You can flat iron all your hair and just like slick it back with hairspray like whatever you want to do but i went ahead and used the jam in between the sections as you guys saw i went ahead and laid my edges and stuff as well and now i'm just using my beater to pull the crochet braid hair through this top braid that i have so i do like to use a beater i know a lot of people use a latch hook for crochet i am not a fan of the latch hook girl okay if you are looking for other crochet braid tutorials definitely be sure to check out my other channel india ajay which is literally devoted to completely hair like only hairs on that channel different hairstyles and stuff so go ahead and check that out especially if you're new to crochet and don't actually know how to do it but you want to do this style check out some of the previous videos on there my channel will be linked in the description box down below of course and this is the final result girl came out super duper cute done my hair um this is like the final result but not the final result because it's gonna go up in a claw clip so i'm basically just gonna like i don't like can you envision it i'm maybe i showed y'all already like with the little claw clip and have it like like this okay it's uh, it's so cute i just i love it I've been wearing red hair for like six weeks so to see myself in just all black I'm just like oh it's giving I love this hair it's really soft so I'm excited to um you know to like actually wear it like in the little claw clip and have the style complete I love a little bit of extra hair over here just in case um I need to add in like a few more pieces but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and tie it up and then clean up all this stuff and that's all the maintenance that I'm gonna be doing for today tomorrow We'll be doing nails. Um, yeah, tomorrow we'll be doing nails. And of course, Friday when I get ready to actually go to dinner, we'll be doing makeup. Oh, maybe I'll show you guys my outfit tomorrow um, too. So yeah, it's really very casual. Y'all will see, y'all will see. Happy Thursday. Happy Thursday, it's 12.56 p.m. Don't mind my outfit. <laughs> wearing a little like loungewear set from my store but I have this on because I ate a smoothie bowl and I feel like every time after I eat a smoothie bowl I'm just freezing like it just makes me so cold so I put I put this on which is also from my store as well if you guys didn't know I have a loungewear store okay shop ajayofficial.com but I'm getting ready to take off my nails so I've been wearing these little shorties for oh my gosh over a over a week a week and a half for a week and a half they are on when i tell you no no lifting like they are doing so good saturday would make a week this is the nail glue i've been using i'm sure you guys have seen this i have it linked in my amazon storefront it is really really good like it really works so definitely recommend this nail glue but i'm gonna go ahead and take these off because like i told you guys i have to do um film a nail video tomorrow a little nail tiktok so i'm gonna go ahead and soak these off so i'm gonna be doing acetone of course but I do like to make a little like almost like a little double boiler so this is the bowl that I always use I have one bowl like dedicated to my um acetone for like soaking off my nails so in this bowl actually let me just let me tilt y'all down okay so in this bowl and you have to use a ceramic bowl or like glass because otherwise the acetone will melt it and I'm just gonna pour this some acetone in here that's probably enough. And then I'm going to get some water. Okay, here's my water in this measuring cup and I'm actually going to heat it up. I think I'm gonna heat it for, you don't want it to be like burning because it'll make the acetone too hot, but maybe like, I'm gonna put it on two minutes and like no more than two minutes. The water has been heated. I'm gonna take this big bowl and pour the hot water in it. Not too much because I don't want it to come up on the sides and then go ahead and sit this in it and then you can just kind of fill it up. Is that good? Yeah, I don't think that's too much. And then voila, and this helps to heat up the acetone. I've only gotten a soak off probably like two three times in my life like actually going to a nail salon and getting them to like soak off my acrylic nails and whenever they did it they would put it on like a hot plate 
and then put the acetone like in the bowl so it heats it up so it takes it off faster and so I was thinking I've been doing this for a long time so that actually sparked the idea for me to heat up the water because like it's the same you get the same effect like whatever it is it's still going to heat up the acetone because you can't like warm acetone it'll evaporate <laughs> so um so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do this soak my nails off and then probably give myself a little mini manicure, here just like push my cuticles back a little bit file them cut them um, just so that I can be ready for um, for my nails, my press-on nails tomorrow. So, yeah, girl, let's go ahead and do that. Do the rain of outfits on these tours? Does it rain outfits on these tours? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shiny bail in the water out. Good morning. Happy Friday. So, <clears throat> today is the day. <laughs> I am leaving the house. Um, I'm gonna show y'all my outfit in just a minute, but I am wearing a strapless top today. How you may ask, am I wearing a strapless top in October? <laughs> Almost November? Well, um, today it's in the 80s. <laughs> so uh, I'm wearing um, cargos, but my top is strapless. So I need to go ahead and do my underarms. Now, I have been waxing my underarms on my own for a while, but for one, I'm out of wax beads. And for two, I kind of want to stop waxing my armpits only because like it's such a task to like get the wax warmer out, heat it up. You got to make sure the wax is at the right temperature. If it's too hot, you'll burn yourself. But if it's not hot enough and you put it on, then when you rip it off, it's not going to pull any hair. Like you'd be having to go over it at least twice. Like I just want to try something else. So I used this Nair bikini cream on my bikini area and it actually worked. And this is, it says Nair Sensitive Formula Bikini Cream Hair Remover. Now, I know it's for the bikini line and I'm going to use it on my underarms. And it doesn't say that you can't. The only thing it says, it says specifically formulated for bikini area, not for use on face. So, I mean, as long as I don't use it on my face, I guess I'm good. So this is how my underarms are looking. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, um, I guess. 10 minutes maybe thinking like 10 minutes should be good so I I was thinking like oh should I shower before or after but I'm in my mind I'm like oh shower after so you can make sure to actually like wipe off the residue of the nair instead of showering before and then having that like sit on your skin and I'm gonna use my um, we're gonna go over body care products but I'm gonna use my um that unscented Dr. Bronner's um today so I feel like that'll be um that'll be good you know like something nice and light so it really worked when I did it on my bikini area and I was really impressed <laughs> so I'm just like I'm gonna do it again on here so it's like you know in there you want to make sure it's like nice and covered but not too thick I've really never been a girl. I know a lot of girls, well not a lot, but I feel like back in the day, okay, everybody was using Nair, like to Nair, off, Nair the, um, the hair off their legs and stuff. It never worked for me. I mean, not that it didn't work, but it was like, it was never like the best results because my legs were like so hairy <laughs> and I felt like I had to um, leave it on so long and then I was worried that it would like burn my legs. So I never used it, but then when I needed to, um, to do my bikini area, but I didn't go get a wax. I was like, oh, let me try using this little Nair. And it really, it worked, like for the most part. This is so much easier and quicker than waxing. So hopefully, now I'm like, I guess I'll just, <laughs> I guess I'll just go lay down so I can keep my, um, keep my arms like this. Oh, I need to time myself. Okay, it's 10.07, so I'm thinking 10 minutes will be 10.17. So I feel like 10 minutes is appropriate. This says, do not exceed 10 minutes. So I'm thinking more around probably like 10, 15, but I'll be back. Okay, it's 10, 17. <laughs> um, I'm looking at it in the mirror and I'm like, okay, I think, I think it might be done. I just am like, let me just wipe out. I always use just like an old um, clean washcloth so I'm like, let me just wipe just a, just a little bit. Because I'm like, if it's not really 
done, I could leave it on a little longer. I know it said I know it said only 10 minutes, but I'm like, if you have coarser hair, then to me, like it might take 15. So I'm not gonna go past 1020. So it's 1018. I feel like I could let it go a little bit more. It's 1020, so that's been like what 13 minutes. So I'm like, let me go ahead and just wipe off the whole thing. Ah, fingers crossed. pretty pleased with the results I'm gonna let me just wet I'm gonna wet this a little bit honestly I feel like it did pretty good um I've never had any type of reaction to Nair before I've used it like I told you guys like on my legs like a really long time ago and in my bikini area and now I'm trying it on my underarms but if you've never used Nair before, for one, get the sensitive formula for sure. And then for two, you know, like patch test at least a few days before you know you're going to need to use it so that you can make sure you don't have any type of reaction. But I think that it did a pretty good job. I'm like, I'm, I feel like I'm, I'm pretty pleased. So I'm going to go ahead and just like let them breathe a little bit. I'm going to take a shower in just a minute. Okay, let's discuss body care for the day. So I know for a fact that I'm going to be wearing this perfume the um flower bomb ruby orchid by victor and rove i've mentioned this um perfume in my fall body care must have so if you guys have not seen that video definitely go ahead and check that out it's like um body care products that are really good for like fall and winter to make sure your skin is nice and moisturized and then also you know like i've mentioned a few perfumes that are just really good for this time of year so i know i'm gonna use this now this is like a warm floral it smells so good it's, um, I just, I feel like I don't really have any specific, like, body creams and stuff to pair with this. Okay, so I'm like, hmm, what can I use? Maybe, honestly, I have been so in love with this Melanin Glow. Maybe I'll just use this. I think I might just use this. And honestly, <laughs> does this look like a matching set? So cute. So, okay, I think I might actually just use that. Now for body oil, I'm gonna use Palmer's today. Oh, or do I wanna, I got this um, in PR from Cooper K. I had never heard of this brand before, but they sent, oh, they sent this body oil and they also sent um, a moisturizer, but this is a hydrating body oil, blackberry and vanilla. It smells so good, but I'm like, does this go with the perfume? I think I'm gonna use it. Just because I've been wanting to use it and it gives something different and like blackberry is a fruit and I just said this is like a um, a fruity, warm floral. So I'm gonna use it, let's use it today. What is this from? Oh, the top, ha. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna use that and then, cause uh, y'all know I love my Palmer's body oil, but I use this all the time. So it's like, let's use something new. Um, and then also I'm probably, yeah, I'll probably just mix my body oil in with my body cream and just rub it on my shoulders because that's the only thing, shoulders and arms, that's the only thing that's going to be um, exposed. Now, yeah, and I'm going to just take a regular shower today. <laughs> what I mean by regular shower is that I already shaved my arms yesterday. I don't need to shave my legs, so I don't think I'm going to do all that. I'm just going to use my regular, my, let me just show y'all. Okay, so I'm just going to use... Like I told you guys, my unscented soap, this Dr. Bronner's Baby Focus. There we go. The Dr. Bronner's Baby Unscented Soap. This is really nice if you have like sensitive skin. It's not too much. I have peppermint, I have lavender. Those are both amazing, love them, but we're gonna use this today. And I'm gonna use it with my hydro cloth that I use pretty much every day. So I'm gonna just use these two things and that's it. And of course, to clean my feminine regions, I'm gonna use my honey pot. So that's gonna be it for the shower today. I don't really need to do like any scrubbing or like anything extra because I already shaved my arm. So I don't have to shave today. Literally, I'm just taking a shower to get clean. So um, yeah. That's the plan. Go ahead and start our body care. So I am using the Dr. Bronner's Unscented Baby Soap that I already showed you guys. Of course, I'm using it with my Hydro Cloth. This just allows me to cleanse and exfoliate my skin at the same time. I personally use my Hydro Cloth 
every day. Like on a rare occasion, I may skip it one day, but I pretty much use it every single day. If you have sensitive skin, I don't know if I would recommend it, but if you don't, girl, I mean, definitely give it a try because it has made my skin super duper soft. So after I did that, I did use my honey pot to cleanse my feminine regions. Of course, I skipped over that. <laughs> and then now we are in my bedroom getting ready to moisturize. So I know I already showed you guys the products I'm using. It's the Jergens um, Melanin Glow. And then I'm using a body oil by Kubra K, which I believe is blackberry and vanilla. Now I am mixing them together, right? This is my first time using these two products. Y'all know if you watch me, I love to mix in a body oil with my body cream like at all times. Okay. I just love the glow that it gives me and it's super moisturizing. But I will say that the Jergens Melanin Glow does not pair well with oil. So don't do this. Okay. Um, I realized after I had pretty much lotioned my whole body that the lotion had kind of like beaded up a little bit like it just it didn't mix well with the oil so the uh, melanin glow really gives you a nice glow on its own but i just personally just wanted to add in the oil with it but the glow uh the melanin glow lotion by itself is still going to give you a really nice glow even without oil so if you want to use it just use it by itself don't add the oil into it or else you know it'll turn out like it'll start beating up on your skin now it worked out okay in the end it wasn't a big deal but i'm just letting you guys know um and also for me because i would not do it again now i'm doing my oral hygiene of course I just went ahead and brushed my teeth I used my tongue scraper and now I'm using my TheraBreath and then of course I'm going to go ahead and wash my face so you guys know I love the African black soap to wash my face so that is always going to be step one for me wash my face dry my face and then of course I'm going to go ahead and shave my face as well so I am using some aloe vera gel on you know like um above my lip and then on the sides of my face and stuff to go ahead and get ready to shave these are just like straight little razors that you can pick up from pretty much anywhere i get a big pack of them from amazon and then you guys can see how i shave my face super duper easy and then once i've done this i'm gonna go ahead and just pluck my eyebrows trim them a little bit and then i'll go ahead and finish on with my skincare routine so i'm gonna use my toner this is my witch hazel and then of course i'm gonna do some under eye cream this one has caffeine in it just to help to give you like you know a more awake look and then of course i'm gonna go ahead and moisturize my face put on some lip balm and then now my face my teeth all of that we're ready for makeup Okay, so I'm pretty sure y'all just heard a little voiceover of me doing all my hygiene type of stuff. So y'all know I did my hair the other day and I've basically just been having this little black um, band around it just to kind of like mold it into place. Okay, it looks pretty good. Yeah, okay, nice. So what do I want to do? I'm trying to think, really, I just need to, first of all, cover my gray. <laughs> But I need to, um, like, add probably some low edge control and stuff because y'all can see how this has wiggled its way up. So, Style Factor Edge Booster. And then also, where's my toothbrush? My toothbrush that I use as an edge brush. And then this is the Root Touch Up. I'm going to use this for my little gray because I didn't dye my hair this time. And I have this. I basically have, like, two like gray streaks like right in the middle i feel like if i let it grow out it will literally just be like two gray streaks I don't, I don't know but i have i have been coloring my hair but i haven't been um i didn't want to do it this time around so i'm gonna do that and then i'm also gonna take some jam so i'm like hmm this part looks good plus i have to flip up my hair for the claw clip and then i just have this part back here like uh two strand twisted for right now so i'm thinking let me start off with some jam it's really molded but it's like i'm gonna add this in i'm gonna lay my baby hairs and then i'm gonna tie it down i wanted to go ahead and like you know wash my face good so i could like get to my forehead before doing this literally color it in and voila Okay, if y'all have been watching my vlogs, y'all saw these. These cargos are from JCPenney, but they're Forever 21. They were $39.99. I don't know if they still have them in stock, but I did. They're linked in my um 
I think they're they're under shop my videos. I think I have that linked below. Maybe I'll try to find them again and see if they have them. I'll link them. But I got them like a little while ago. So yeah, I'm gonna wear these. They're in like this cream color. And then, oh, should I iron them? No. <laughs> I could, but I'm like, oh, they're cargos. And then I'm wearing them with this bustier type of top. Really cute, right? This is from Rainbow. It was only, I think like $10. It was originally $14.97. I got it for $10. I got it at the end of last season. So yeah, this is so cute. So I'm gonna do that with it. And then I'm wearing this little fur bag. Isn't this so cute? This is actually from Wally World. <laughs> this is from Walmart. I got it last year. I have a, um, I have a jacket that matches this exactly. So I had the jacket first that I had picked up from like a little boutique and then I went into Walmart and I was like, oh my God, that, <laughs> that print, let, let me show y'all the jacket because it's really unbelievable. Please, please be for real. I, I literally, when I saw this bag, I was like, are you kidding me? I, can, I cannot believe it. So I picked it up immediately. So obviously, I'm not wearing this today because baby, I would burn up. Okay, it's in the 80s, but I'm gonna wear this bag with it and then I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna wear these tan vans. So cute, love me some vans. So yeah, I tried this outfit on um, literally like a while ago because I was just like, do I even have anything in my closet to pair with these cargos? And then I found this top in there and I was like, okay, okay, this could be a look. So this is gonna be today's look. And then I just need some gold jewelry. Then I just need some gold jewelry. So I'll probably just do, I don't know. I have this necklace that I had gotten from Forever 21 a little while ago. It's like this like chain. How does this go? Oh, my battery's about to die. But it's like this chain type of necklace. I think I might wear this or I might do these cherries right here, which is also from Forever 21 that I've had. So I don't know, I think it's gonna be one of those. And then of course, just some gold rings, some gold bracelets and stuff. I'll just show y'all that stuff when I actually like put it on. But yeah, that's, that's the fit, okay? So let me see, I need a strapless bra, so let me grab that. And then it's like, hmm, do I have to wear a thong with these or can I wear, let me see. I'm gonna see, but yeah, my battery's about to die, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this battery, and then, yeah, I don't know, the next thing will probably be makeup. nails are done so cute like oh my gosh it's definitely giving like super glam like birthday set or holiday or like special event you know kind of vibes these are so so cute let me show y'all all of them because i love these this is uh with kiss so they came out i don't know if you guys have seen these before i saw these for the first time this week when i went into um a beauty supply store to go get some more hair and stuff and i was looking in their little case in the front and i was like oh my god they have the nails they were like 20 dollars um for the pack so i don't know what like the going rate is for them but i haven't seen them at like cvs or anything so i think this is a set i have on the purple one they have a pink set and then they also have like this pretty like champagne gold and then like a blue. So these are all super duper cute. This is like, I love this cause y'all know like I'm a press on girl, but like for my birthday or something, when I want something that has like some razzle dazzle, some stones, I don't know who's going to sit for three and a half hours to go get this done in acrylic. Not happening, <laughs> not happening. So I feel like this is, this is so cute. This is definitely like such a vibe. I love it, yes. So, um, oh, also, and I use this cuticle oil. This is so good. It's called a cuticle serum with cactus flower. This is from Olive and June. I don't know if y'all could see their little 
there you go olive and june um they do nails as well and they sent me this with some other nails and look at it it's like a little um like puff at the top and then you like turn this and it like it clicks and then you can like literally apply it like this are you kidding like so cute so cute love it love it so i have this so now i'm looking at my watch i don't have one on it's 12 not 12 it's 206 so <coughs> oh my gosh <coughs> i um it's 206 for one girl the black satin robe. If you don't have it, get it. Shop my website, ashleyofficial.com, for all of your loungewear needs. Um, and it's pretty much anytime y'all see me in a robe, it's from my store. So plain little black satin robe. Um, now, it's 206. So I'm thinking, I think I'm just gonna, I'm gonna give myself maybe like five, 10 minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and start my makeup. I am starting off my makeup today with some Milk of Magnesia. I do have oily skin, so I do pretty much just use this primer in my T-zone. I would not recommend it, girl, if you have, like, sensitive skin or, you know, whatever. It's not really an everyday type of thing, but, you know, every once in a while, it's cool, right? And so then I'm doing my eyebrows. I have been doing my eyebrows, like, a little bit more fluffy. I've been using the NYX Brow Glue and then going on top of it with one of their, like, super skinny pencils. I'll try to remember to link some of this stuff below for you guys, but I really like the way my eyebrows have been coming out and then of course went ahead and put on my foundation I did my concealer and then I'm doing a little bit of liquid blush today as well and then once I've done this I'm gonna go ahead and set my face I have been loving using these little powder puff uh, triangles and just brushes really I have honestly kind of put the beauty blender down I don't really use it anymore which is kind of shocking because I mean girl the beauty blender was a thing for a long long time okay and of course, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bronzer, do a little highlight, do a little bit of powder blush. And then the white mascara that you guys saw me put on was like a primer. And then I go with my regular black mascara on top. I line my lips. I'm pretty sure this is NYX either nutmeg or brown. And then girl, just an easy little lip combo, a little elf lip gloss and voila. Makeup is complete. So I'm just going to go ahead and take out, we're doing, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and take out these twists. I was about to say we're doing really good on time. It's just a little bit after three. So we should, we should be good, we should be good. It's exciting to like be able to film and do all these things and not have to rush because normally I'm rushing. <laughs> okay, so all I need to do, this is my claw clip. This claw clip is from Target. It's super big. Like if you have night, if you have thick hair, this is really nice so i really need another one i'm thankfully that one is like it's like tortoise so i feel like it goes with so much so my ponytail it's basically like a half up half down right and then all i'm going to do is just take this and i'm going to flip it up so i just have to yeah i feel like right there is probably good Mm-hmm. I think it looks so cute. Let me double check the back. Hold on. Yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. Wait, what is this? Right here. Hold on. this is the final look the hair the makeup the little top the girl the fit okay the car goes the bag y'all can't really see my shoes let me see if i i'll put a full length pic on the screen so y'all can see like from top to bottom but this this is the best i can do okay yeah yeah it's giving the i sprayed my perfume already smells so good so yes this is the final look oh my gosh I think it's just so cute. I also have my little Amazon shades as well. I may or may not end up putting these on, I think. Oh, I did good. I guess I didn't have them on long enough for them to actually like, you know, make those dents. But I've been seeing this thing where people have been putting on like a little bit of powder on it. So I'm gonna try that and see um, if it works. But yeah, I'm gonna bring my glasses. And that's it, girl. Oh my God, deodorant. Deodorant. <laughs> I wanted to, um, 
Um, I was trying to wait for as long as possible to put deodorant on because, you know, I just like narrowed my underarm. So let me see. Let me just put one swipe and see how it feels. Okay, cool. It feels fine. And y'all know I switched to the aluminum free deodorant. So this is the one that I use. But yes, this is the final look. So it is 356, girl. I got a few more little like picks and little things to take and do um, before I head out the door. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, this little girl. It's really like a get ready with me from start to finish, like beauty maintenance, skincare, body care. Girl, you watched the video. You know what was in it. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, girl. If you did, be sure to subscribe. OK, stick around, girl. Check out some other videos. Watch some vlogs. Watch some body care content, some shower routines, all the kind of stuff. Chit chats fashion girl all all the things okay don't forget to shop my loungewear store at jayofficial.com and yeah girl i think that's gonna be it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching and i will see y'all in the next one bye